tonight my plan was to just draw, um, take suggestions, and draw, but at this point I don't have any suggestions. I do have a couple things that I always want to work on. Um, I'm going to give it a minute or two and see if anybody joins the chat and might have suggestions. Um, I am probably going to turn off the music in just a minute. Um, I have a couple songs that I personally either wrote or arranged that I'm trying to trying to do some extra stuff so that I don't have to worry with the muting of my stream. Um, I had my stream muted last week because I didn't realize one of the songs I had was copyrighted. I mean, or wasn't, wasn't, well, let me rephrase that, I was using Twitch's um, soundtrack op option and I feel it didn't that because the last week the stream was actually pretty good. Um, but I'm working on some music to use. Um, the song that's playing in the background right now is basically a uh, an arrangement of uh, House of the Rising Sun, which is an old, I mean, I know there have been lots of um, covers of it, but it's originally a folk song, so therefore it is in public domain. <laughs> Um, but I am not going to be streaming music with this particular stream tonight just for the fact that I don't want to risk my stream getting muted. Um, but anyway, since we don't really have anybody in the chat and I don't really have any suggestions at this point, uh, one of the things that, in case, well, in case anybody wa wants to watch the VOD and is watching the VOD after we've recorded this, uh, one of the things that I was have been wanting to work on is something, uh, a few more water-related animals. Um, I haven't decided, quite frankly, I really haven't sold enough games to afford to do another expansion pack. But if I were to do another expansion pack, uh, one of the packs that I, I would like to do is, is either a fantasy-based pack or a water-based pack. Um, now, I probably would do better with a fantasy pack because I've done more fantasy drawings in the past, but, um, I'd like to kind of challenge myself a little bit more and do some water, some, some art that I've never really done before and, uh, fish and whales and sharks are not really my forte by any means. I'm not saying that I'm a stupendous artist to start with, but they water animals definitely are not my forte. So, but I was going to start um, with a beluga whale because I just think they are absolutely adorable. Uh, after seeing them at the aquarium in, I think it was Atlanta, they are just. <laughs> Super cute. Big white. Uh, their faces kind of look like a smushed in dolphin, and th I think that adds to their charm. Kind of like everybody likes the smushed in face dogs. A beluga whale kind of looks like a smushed in face dolphin, in my, well, at least in my opinion. So uh, I think that's what I'm going to work on tonight is maybe a beluga whale. Now, I don't know what kind of. what. A beluga whale. What kind of instrument a beluga whale would would play? Maybe they kind of have a little pouty looking snout, so maybe a a baritone or a mellophone. Let's go with a, a mellophone. Let me see if I can find a good reference picture of a beluga whale, because I definitely am not going to be able to draw this. From, from memory. That one's a good one. So you can't see what I'm pulling up, but I'm just searching Google for pictures of beluga whales. Kind of like that one. I think that one will work. Um, so 
I'm not going to copy this reference picture over into into my tri Twitch stream either, since it it possibly could be copyright it probably is copyrighted, and that's another thing I don't want to hit is you know another copyright infringement. So let me find my brushes. It's a hard round brush or a hard pressure size brush. Uh, definitely don't need it to be 50 pixels. So, five. So, I think first, well, let's draw, let's do it with a different color. This first layer will kind of do an outline of the whale. In this picture, it's kind of horizontal. I think I'm going to tilt it a little more vertical. But it's got it's it's got kind of a it's a face. Actually, I think I may draw it exactly like it is, and then just tilt the image because that might be easier for me to do. I'm, I'm gonna start with its tail, I think. So we got its tail that goes down, and it's got a little lump, and it's got this big old forehead. I'm doing it with red as kind of my underdrawing, just to kind of give myself a an idea as to what it's going to look like. Then it's got this little lip that it's got, and it's a little mouth. That looks horrible, but it's going to its mouth kind of goes like that. Its little lip goes down like that. Its mouth goes all the way over here. We're going to make it smiling. Got a little eye back here. Um, hold on. I need to shut my, my door so my dogs don't come in here and start barking while I'm doing this. And if, if I happen to drop off the stream, we are supposed to start getting some storms and if my power goes out my stream will go out so so we got this little little mouth and it's kind of got a curve like that maybe not that much then it's got a little body that doesn't look like that at all uh, it's got a little more rounded right here a little more slender back there. Let's erase some lines so that it, I can tell what I'm doing. Now the thing I like about whales, or at least this whale, I think all whales. I don't know. I can't remember. Do all do any whales have dorsal fins? I know these do not have dorsal fins. Don't like drawing dorsal fins. That's one of the things that I. Um, one of the reasons I don't like drawing fish and sea mammals is all of the fins. I'm trying to figure out where they go and what they look like and just a lot to draw and to, the other thing is there's not a whole lot of variety in their body shape so it's kind of like you have to guess a little bit you have to overemphasize the the things that make them look like whatever animal it is and I don't know I'm just rambling at this point um, anyway so we got this Beluga whale shape, sort of a shape. It's got this little dip or bulge right here at the end of its tail. I don't know much about beluga whales, so I'm not sure what that is. Then it's here, I'm gonna have to move this. Move it over a little bit so I have room. Oh, we got tail fins. So 
here try to look at both screens and see what I've done wrong and what needs to be fixed. I think it's something like that, from best I can tell. That's the general shape, I think. You got the tail comes up into the body a little bit. You got that kind of like that. It's kind of got this little crease. Like it was wearing a Shaco and it had the chin strap under its chin. And then we've got front flippers, which the front flippers are going to have to be holding the instrument. So we're going to have to make the front flippers go. They have very square looking flippers. Flippers go like this. That flipper is way too big for the whale's body, but I've got to make it big enough that it can actually hold the instrument. Something like anthropomorphized animals. Actually, I guess this one isn't really anthropomorphized, but. There's one flipper. The other one's gonna come back here, and I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna tilt it so that you can. It's more visible. We're gonna put a shako on this dude's head. No, I always buy, I always draw the square shakos because I quite frankly can't draw the other types by memory. But if there's any t particular type of Shaco that anyone would like to see me attempt to draw, maybe make fun of me while I try to draw it, that just looks like a top hat. Doesn't look like a Shaco. It's gonna have to be further up on its head, probably. to be tilted like that so that it's got the band top like that I'll doing the that'll work Then because it's in the water, the feathers are kind of going to drift off into the water like that. Kind of like that. Like I said, I don't draw a lot of animals in the water, so I think it should have like a seashell shaped emblem on it, Shaco. And it needs to have the chin strap. So put a little to button thing. Can't decide how to make that look like it's going over top of his head. weird. Okay, we'll do it like that, where it's kind of like up, sitting up on his head. Then we'll take the little chin strap, it'll go down under his chin, kind of like that. And I'll clean this up when I do the other lines. So now, now that we have this, I am not going to use my pen to do this because I 
can never get it to work. But rotate this sucker. Don't I don't want it to be completely vertical. I don't want it to be slightly. I don't want it to be resized. I want it to be slightly vertical. Kind of like that. Because I did that, now I'm going to have to fix the water or the direction of the plumage. Let's kind of going like that. Now, Melophone. This will be fun suck at drawing melophones. Uh, that was probably a bad choice to make a melophone. But let me pull up a picture of a melophone so that I have something to reference. Okay, Melphone. Do this on a separate layer so I don't screw up the whale in the process of drawing Melphone. Can't see my create new layer button. Oh, my thing won't hide. Hold on. Bar to hide. New layer. Okay, so melophone. Got a little or draw a melophone and then put it on the truck on the at the little bees can't even draw and then basically goes out and trying to follow it. It does something weird there. Goes in that to Oh wait, it goes all the way like this. I'm sorry for those of you that play Melophone, I am probably going to butcher this. Probably just going to give it the impression of being a Melophone. <laughs> okay, we got your valves. Go all the way down here to right here. Okay, this is just they go behind there. That's the first part. Then you got this little little piece of tubing that goes like this. 
at least this one that I'm looking at. I'm sure there are other types of telephone. Got this one that goes like this. Got some tube that comes back around to the back. Then you got a tube that comes around back here. Then you got the main part of the horn, which actually is this one that comes around here. So this one come down some more. I'm going to go out here. I'm going to come up. I'm going to become the bell. It does a very sharp <laughs> That's way too big. <laughs> Let's try that again. Something like that. Doesn't look right. Let's round this out just a little. Get a little more. I mean, this is just my rough sketch, so I don't have to have this one perfect. Not that it's going to be perfect when I do my final sketch, but this one has to be less perfect. Can't be less perfect. I think that's it. I think that's the way we're going to do it. Okay, now let's move this sucker. It's going to go, it's going to have to be smaller. Thank you. Sorry, I had my pen in my mouth. I couldn't respond. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you like it. Um, I'm basically just drawing animals right now. Playing marching band instruments. So I, I don't normally do water creatures. And this one is a challenge for me. Because I don't normally do water creatures. But uh, since... Since I needed to draw something, I just decided to do something different that I hadn't done before. But I'm glad to see somebody in the chat. And thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoy it. So I think that's where I'm going to stop. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I think that's where I'm going to stop with the mellophone itself. Because uh, I don't think I'm going to do much better than that at the moment. But I'm going to do some additional stuff in the background. I don't know what to... I guess we could do some like kelp or something. Uh, I'm not really sure what kelp looks like so I'm just gonna draw some like little planty things. I think they have like alternating leaves. At least the few times I've played Minecraft I think that they've had alternating leaves. Um, I, if you have suggestions, feel free to to make them. I'm all about 
taking suggestions at this point because I don't do a lot of like water creatures and stuff. Uh, do a couple little plants. Yes, bubbles. Oh, that's cr true. He, he, you would have to have like lots of little bubbles coming out of his trumpet. Oh, it's actually a mellophone, but potato, potato. The mellophone players would argue that it's a big deal, but. It would be very difficult to play. <laughs> the water. Oh, that's okay. I've done some other, the last one, the last drawing that I did was a lobster and I did a trumpet with it. So I decided to do something different. I was going to do like a clarinet or a flute, but typically you wouldn't want a clarinet. Well, you wouldn't want a trumpet to get wet either, but um, clarinets and flutes are particularly bad to get wet because the pads get messed up so easily if they get wet. So I decided a brass instrument would be better. <laughs> okay, so we got some little kelp. I would draw some little fishes with him, but I suck at fishes. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Let's just do the, let, let me do the, the black overlay line art, and then I'll decide if we need to add something else to him. So, see if I can make him look a little better than what he currently looks like. The lobster actually turned out a whole lot better than I expected it to do because it was, um, like I said, I don't normally do water creatures. I normally stick to land-based animals when I draw. <laughs> I'm glad you like his hat. I started to make some little paper hats like that um, for my dog and my daughter didn't think that she would wear them so I didn't do it. the shell needs to kind of stick out a little bit and not be kind of flat. Although that didn't work the way I wanted it to. I don't know, my little dog, she doesn't sleep very much, except during the day when I'm working, so wouldn't have very many times. <laughs> I think my cat would ha would stand a, a, a hat better than my dog would. But he doesn't come inside very often. He's a very outdoor type of animal. Don't want to draw, go over, draw in the little mouthpiece. I haven't been streaming very long. Um, this is actually for my small business account. Um, it was suggested that maybe I should start doing streams for like the art part that I do just to kind of draw people in. Um, and so that's when I started. Oh, it's only been like two or three weeks maybe. Um, so I don't have a whole lot of followers yet. And haven't really had a whole lot of interest. But that's okay. I, it, it's not been completely a waste of time because it, it, it makes me do things that I wouldn't have normally sat down and done because I feel like I have to sit down and do something 
for the stream and I might not have done that if if I hadn't had the stream. I'll have to check out your your account as well and once I get finished and I'd love to see what you what you're doing as well. It's it's a whole lot. It's very enjoyable to 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 share something that you love and that you do and and have other people appreciate what you do. You know, you your day-to-day -day job usually doesn't have that kind of a, um, I mean, if you're lucky, you might have a job where, you know, people really appreciate what you do, but it's, it's your hobbies and stuff that if you can find something that you really love to do and people love to see it and love to appreciate how much work you put into it, that it, it's very satisfying, I know. I appreciate that. I have to check out yours as well. Sorry, I'm trying to draw this little fine line. <laughs> it's hard to draw and talk at the same time. I don't know. I don't mind you being chatty. It's I've not had very many people in the chat before to actually converse with, and it's nice having somebody to actually um, talk to as opposed to just talking to yourself. Because that's the thing that I was really concerned about was the whole sitting and talking to yourself thing until you find actually get an audience to come in and and enjoy your stream. <laughs> okay. I think oh I had to, I didn't draw in his hat band. Yeah, I actually do. I have been trying to stream every Monday night at 8.30. Just because Monday nights are typically the easiest for me to to be on here. Um, I have done a couple additional streams from my personal account. But as far as from this particular account, I've been trying to just do Monday nights. Um, it's less stressful to just do one until I get a little bit of an audience and quite frankly I don't know what I would yes Eastern time I don't know what I would do every night of the week if I had a stream for multiple nights it would take uh, additional stuff but I, I know I was planning on doing some product uh, showing some product but I haven't gotten to that because I don't have a good place set up yet to do a live stream or a, a an in-person stream. Uh, when do you normally do your streams? Oh, that is a lot. Oh, it would take me a lot of a lot of planning. Yeah, I would assume you would have to plan for what you're going to stream. I pretty much have been uh, relying on people to to show up and maybe give me ideas as to what they would like to see. I would imagine if you're doing it three days a week, you really have to plan so that you know what you're doing. 
maybe that's what I need to do is do a little more planning and you know send to my followers at least send out notification of this is what I'm going to be doing when I just haven't gotten to that level yet especially since I just started it's probably a smarter idea to do it that way Do you, how long do you normally stream? I usually have, I've only been streaming for about an hour and a half each night. That's good. I like to sew as well, but I haven't done it in quite a while. My current setup doesn't really allow me a lot of room to keep a project out long enough for me to get it finished, so I haven't really done a whole lot. I used to sew quilts and uh, things like that. Wow. I guess you're streaming. Oh, I think... Okay, I thought my mic had died. <laughs> everything, <laughs> everything blinked for a second. Oh, my pen just died. That's what happened. I'm going to have to find another pin. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't my pen that died. Oh, it did. Sometimes my tablet will switch from one screen to the other and then it doesn't work. So give me just a second. I've got to figure out what it's done. I have a fairly cheap tablet and I have a feeling it's because it's a cheap tablet that it does this. I'm gonna have to disconnect it and connect it back. It's, well, it's not really a cheap tablet. It was a fairly expensive tablet, but cheaper than what most tablets cost. If I can find the right cable. And it's dark in here, so I can't see. That should be it. It's it's a um, X, XP pen, uh, XP pen twenty or twenty two. It's got a nice huge screen, but um, it does some weird things sometimes. It may just be my computer. Okay, I'm just gonna have to duplicate my desktop. be able to watch my stream, but that's okay. There we go. It's Photoshop. Yes. Want to dock my jacket? Okay, there we go. I think there we go. <laughs> 
Yeah, technology. You gotta love it. We what would we do without it? That what sometimes it drives you crazy. <laughs> I've gotten pretty good at figure at doing what I just did because this is the third stream that I've done that it has done that on me. And I have not yet figured out what it is that's causing it. But basically the the pen stops responding on, it will only respond on one screen. Or it only shows up on one screen and it's not the tablet screen. So, but that's okay. Got it fixed, or not really fixed, but a solution. Okay, let's hide those two red layers. Now, I am definitely not a super duper artist. I'm usually okay with drawing the black lines, but coloring is not my forte. But we'll see what I can do here. Um, layers. That's what I need. Color the whole thing. Let's do a gradient in the background. Thank you. <laughs> of most of the things that I've done, I think I'm the happiest with the lobster. Because I really didn't, it's partly because I really didn't think it was going to turn out very well. And then it turned out so much better than I thought it was going to. But, let's see, I'm going to color in white. The other thing is I'm not, I don't really know all the tool tips and tricks for using Photoshop because I've basically just been trying to learn it as I go. So I know we can use the paint bucket fill, but I always have trouble with getting it to fill properly. So I like to outline it and then go back in and fill it in. No, um, probably not. If this is probably just something I'm going to post to Instagram, and it may, I may eventually put it like on a sticker or something, or maybe I've been thinking about doing t-shirts. So there's lots of different t-shirt designs that I've uh, considered doing that I haven't done yet. But as far as selling it, probably not. It's probably just going to be something that, unless I make it a sticker or a t-shirt, it's probably not going to be something that I sell. I mean, I always, I mean, it's possible it could at some point go on a card that I do for my, the card game that I sell, but uh, one of the things that I thought about doing was doing a, a water-based expansion pack for the card game that I have and doing some water-based animals. So, I mean, if I ever do that, which I don't know that I am for sure because I ha I would really need to sell a lot more games to afford to spend that money on another expansion pack. Um, but this could possibly go on something like that. Um, but yeah, I didn't really, I'm not really doing it with any intention of selling it for anything in, in particular. Just, just to draw something just to try to, you know, put my brand out there and just kind of like an advertisement. Yeah, exactly. I have thought about doing commissions, um, but I always worry about doing commissions. I used to do 
Um, I used to do commissions for, um, hold on, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think about what I need to do here. Oh, okay. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, I used to collect My Little Pony. So that was back before I had kids. And back then, I used to do commissions for custom ponies. And it was they weren't the greatest because I really didn't have a whole lot of time to put into them. But, I mean, I enjoyed doing it and people bought them. So I assume that people like some people liked them at least, but there were always a couple times where you would do something or take a commission and then the person would give you really vague instructions and then you'd do what they asked and then they'd hate it. Yeah. Yeah, my um I'm really surprised with how really good the new new cartoon turned out to be. I haven't watched it in a really long time, but back when my daughter was little, she loved it. Yeah, so I've kind of steered away. Yeah, I've kind of steered away from commissions for that reason, because I'm one of those people where if if you don't like it, it, it hurts me more than if you were to just never commission it. I would rather you not commission some you some I would rather not get the money and somebody not take a commission than to um, risk the rejection of somebody hating it or not liking it or even just being slightly um, slightly disappointed. So I think I'm gonna go with green. Kind of a, kind of make it look like seaweed. I think that would be good. Exactly. And in art is very, in my in my personal opinion, art is very emotion based. It, I mean, you put a lot into into it, and you want somebody to really like it. And when they don't, it's very disappointing. I mean, I'm sure some people are out there, and they they couldn't care less if somebody likes their art. But I am not one of those people. If I'm gonna I'm going to spend time doing something I love. I, w I want other people to appreciate it or just not even. I'd rather you to completely ignore it than to. I'm not saying that I don't like critique because critique is important to growing, but there's a there's a difference between critique and uh, being mean. try to do some like blocky shadows because they would be a whole lot easier and oh we pro I probably need to shadow that whale probably look a whole lot better exactly when you put your heart into it you want other people to like it okay now here's the other thing that I really struggle with is the direction of light. I know that it's coming from the upper left corner, but I'm not good at making it look like it's coming from the upper left corner. Like I'm looking at the hat now and realizing I put that shadow on the wrong side. It needs to have a slight shadow over here, but probably more of it needs to be on this side. <laughs> And that's something that I never would have really considered before I started actually doing things for the internet after watching other people draw and um, realizing, hey, I probably should pay attention to light sources when I'm drawing. <laughs> the top 
top of it, the whale should be light and the dark underside should be dark. And I prefer to go, especially with stuff like this, I prefer to go with the very cartoony kind of coloring instead of the, the more detailed and um, instead of a more detailed style. Thank you. I appreciate that. I don't normally do very well with shadows. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. I appreciate you being here. Um, I will check out your uh, your channel as well later when I get done, and I hope to see you later. Hope you have a good evening. Enjoy your dinner. Bye. Going to finish up these shadows and do a little bit. Needs a color for its eye. Let's get this gray. Nope, let's not do that gray. Blue. Excuse me. Yeah. Okay, that's the color I want. Okay, my mellophone. I think I'm going to do it gold instead of silver. Just because I think it'd be easier to do it that way. Underwater. But if I... That is if I can find the right gold. Because finding the right color is always the challenge. At least for me. That's probably not the right color, but we'll go with it and see what it looks like.
got Trump or Melophone. We need some shadows on that Melophone. Oops, not with the eraser. I'm going to go back in with some lighter because that didn't, didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Kind of like that. That right there needs to be erased. That right there should have been yellow. Okay. I think that's good enough on that. Oh, the seashell. Let's color the seashell the same color yellow. Shades. Like that. The brim of his cap looks more like part of his head than the actual brim of his cap. So I think I'm going to color it green too. Then I'll color the kelp. wish I had gotten some music to play because it's kind of quiet now. I'll work on having some music for next week. I'm almost done with this. Once I finish the kelp, I'm gonna add a couple highlights and then I'll probably call it an evening. While I'm working on this, I I wanted to make um say a couple things. I I by no means am sponsored by or affiliated in any way with any of the drum corps. But I love drum corps. I was never in it. I wish I had when I was younger. But I think it is an excellent leadership activity. And they make music. 
and music is super important. Everybody loves music. I mean, the fact that there is so much anger and so, so many people are irritated by the fact that people are getting DMCA strikes on Twitch because of their music. It shows you how important music actually is. And these, these drum corps are making music every summer. And they're not only making music, they are making high quality entertainment to go with the music. I mean, their drum, sh drum corps shows are always, regardless of the core, which core is your favorite, all of the drum corps work super hard, spend tons of hours, lots of sweat, lots of anguish, but I'm sure they have lots of fun as well working on these shows. And especially after everybody being cooped up all for for almost a whole year or well, it has been over a full year. The fact that we couldn't enjoy it last year, we do have the opportunity to enjoy it. Everyone should make efforts, especially if you enjoy drum corps, to go out and support your favorite core. And if you can't go to a show, maybe consider supporting them financially. I know most of the cores, or a lot of the cores that I've I've been trying to keep up with some of the cores. Most of the cores that I've been keeping up with, they are, they, I mean, I wouldn't say they're in desperate needs of funds, but they're always in need. There's always a need. They always need something in order to either make the, these, the young performers um, more comfortable or help them learn better. Um, you know, give them more opportunities to learn their pieces or more opportunities of uh, leadership or training or whatever it is. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm having trouble coming up with words while I'm also trying to draw. But anyway, they always could use funds. And like I said, I am by no means sponsored or affiliated with any core, but if you love drum corps, if you love marching arts, I would highly suggest you look into maybe maybe just the core that if if you don't have a core that you know has special meaning to you, maybe whatever core is closest to you physically or that has the I don't know that supports your community or pulls students from your community in order to fill their core. But maybe consider donating time or money or something of that sort to assisting them in producing the high quality entertainment that they produce every year. That's just my two cents. I have, I, I, I can't afford to support every core, neither personally or through my small business, because quite frankly, my small business is not making any money at this point. But I did today, I won't say which one, because I don't want to play favorites, but I did go and make a donation to my, my personal, the core that personally um, is, is, I wouldn't say important to me, but the core that I've always enjoyed the most or had the closest connection to. Like I said, I never was in the core. I had friends who were in core, drum core, and that's partly the reason why I supported that particular core. And it's partly because of location, um, I used to live very close to where that core used to practice. 
or is or is um based out of but um if you if you have the ability I would recommend donating and I think I think it's a good opportunity and even if you can't donate to a core marching band programs your local marching band programs your high schools your colleges your I don't know I guess private schools probably do them as well um, they'll be starting soon and they're always in need of new equipment um, people to help you know provide meals to the band provide just various assortment of things to the band um, I think that it's a worthy investment to, to support any kind of music especially music at a um, at a level where this you know students are still I don't know how to really I don't know how to really express what I'm uh, what I what I feel because uh, like a, quite frankly I'm having trouble thinking and drawing at the same time but anyway support your local band whether it be a drum corps I, I'm drum corps is on my mind right now because they're in the process most drum corps are starting now they're um they're working on their shows now they're in their they're essentially in what they would call a band camp but if you don't want to support a drum corps you know there's there's lots of other programs that you could support and maybe you don't want to support marching band maybe you would prefer to support a concert band or um, a choir program or whatever but the music programs definitely need support um, because as most people probably most people who are involved with any kind of music program knows the sports programs get the majority of the funding in the schools and that is a shame because how few people I mean sure it's important sports are important it's important to stay active but marching band is an active sport as well and you may not be able to play football or basketball into your 80s and 90s or even even into your 40s but you most likely would still be able to play an instrument even as you get older I mean I can still play my instrument I can't do the physical activities I used to do but I definitely could still play my instrument and it's a worthwhile skill but anyway I'm off my soapbox now but um, so this is my beluga whale playing a metaphone I feel like it needs like some array of light um, I'm not good with Photoshop not exactly sure how I would go about doing that I could probably could figure it out if I was doing this in Illustrator let me see if I can try so I guess I could just draw it in so if I do a large brush large soft brush I don't want that. Close that. Find the brush that I want. Soft round. Get pretty big. Bigger than that. Bigger than that. Like that. A little bit smaller. And I'm going to make it this light blue color. And I'm just going to go straight down like that and my layers I'm going to move that layer let's make it 
a little bit smaller. Do another one. Kind of like that. That's kind of what I had in mind. I might make the opacity of that layer slightly lower. Okay, I think I'm done. So there's my beluga whale playing a male phone. It's I think it turned out pretty good considering that I really didn't have anything planned for the evening. It is 9.42. I typically only stream for about an hour, hour and a half. So since we're pretty much done and I've done my soapbox rant, um, I think this is it. I think this is all I'm going to do tonight. I appreciate any, everybody who joined. I don't know if anyone else enjoyed I mean, anyone else joined besides Tor New Soul. I appreciate them joining me, though, because it's nice to have somebody to talk to in the chat. Um, and hopefully other people can join us the next time and we can have even better, more conversation. So I'm going to fix this real quick because I didn't like the way that looked. But I just realized I've got a... The wrong brush. Okay, I need my keyboard. Control Z works better than the undo button. My nose is starting to run, which means that it's about to rain. That because it probably means there's mold from spores in the air. And I still have it on eraser. I don't know. I think I might be making it worse rather than better. I feel like it needs to not be quite so rounded because I kind of have a blocky head. I mean, it's round, but it's not like super round. I don't know. Anyway, I think that's where I'm going to stop. I'm not going to mess with it anymore so I don't screw it up anymore. And I hope to see other people um on the stream next week we will stream again on monday night at 8 30 eastern the same channel everybody have a good night <laughs>